evaluator. Good morning, Toastmasters. Good morning. Good morning. Especially Wallace. One thing I want to come out and say this to you that I really like about the way you deliver your speech is every Toastmaster, whenever I hear them, they have, they have specific strength. They will either communicate using their voice very well, they will communicate with their facial expression very well, or they will communicate with their gestures very well. I think your strength lies in using all three of them in moderation. The speech that you delivered today, it has an effective mix of voice modulations, gestures, and facial expression. You probably don't realize, but that's an amazing strength you have. Coming back to your speech, Cancer Research Project. Just to make this uh, audience aware, the, the purpose of this project was for the member to learn or review basic research methods and present a well-organized, well-researched speech on that topic. You definitely picked a topic which is of personal interest to you. You, you shared that story. That always makes a, any speech very effective when the members will share the personal angle to it. it. It was very clear you did a lot of research, but I was scared that, are you going to use a lot of jargons that everybody will be like, what are you talking about? But that was another good thing. You broke it down into simple, effective sentences with easy, relatable analogies, which helped us understand very well. Just for one example is, what will happen if everybody lives on Earth forever, just feeding on limited resources? That was a very good analogy for us to immediately relate what happens in our body when there is cancer. So very well done. Some of the comments from audience was that you engaged the audience really well. And the short, effective sentences was very effective because it was not like one long sentence that people are trying to understand. What did you say? Can you repeat that? Okay. A couple of things you may want to work on is that I saw you during the table topics and I felt you were so good with using the state space and engaging the audience. I think using the notes limited you from doing that. And that is one idea what you can use is have small index cards with the points written so that you can hold them, you can put the lectern away and engage the audience more, come out, and maybe just look at the sentences if you need to. And the other thing is, you have some hand clasping, and the uh, challenges, the thing that I want to challenge you is one, do the speech without notes. That will be, because you're already up there very high, so I want to challenge you to the next level. And the second thing is, Try to tell it in, in terms of a story. Just think about how you will do a speech if you're doing a story. It's a great speech. Thank you for sharing.